John Amos, beloved by millions for his portrayal of James Evans Sr. on the classic sitcom Good Times, passed away on October 1st, 2024, leaving behind a legacy that spans decades in the entertainment industry. His portrayal of the strong, principled, and loving father figure on the show earned him the nickname America's Dad, as his character resonated deeply with viewers across the nation. James Evans Sr. became a symbol of strength, steadfastness, and integrity in the face of hardship, making Amos a household name and endearing him to fans. Yet, while John Amos played a father to many on screen, his personal life was also marked by the pride he took in being a devoted father to his two children, Shannon and Kelly Christopher K.C. Amos. They, too, have made their mark in the entertainment world, following in their father's footsteps, though each has carved their own unique path. Amos's journey as a father began in 1966 when he welcomed his first child, Shannon Amos, with his first wife, Noel Mickelson. Shannon's birth marked the start of his most cherished role as a father, a responsibility he held close to his heart. Despite his demanding career and rising fame, Amos always prioritized his family, ensuring that his role as a parent remained central to his life. Shannon, who would go on to become a successful producer and writer, grew up with the guidance, love, and support of her father, even as the world knew him as a celebrated television patriarch. Her career reflects her father's dedication to the craft of storytelling, as she has worked tirelessly in film and television to create content that embodies the same authenticity and heart that John Amos brought to his iconic roles. In 1970, Amos and Mickelson welcomed their second child, a son named Kelly Christopher, affectionately known as Casey. Like his sister, Casey followed his father into the entertainment industry, becoming a talented director and producer. Growing up in the shadow of a legendary actor could have been daunting, but Casey embraced his father's legacy and the lessons that came with it. Through his work behind the camera, KC has upheld the Amos family tradition of impactful storytelling, showcasing his own dedication to excellence in his craft. Both Shannon and KC have built on the foundation laid by their father, who left an indelible mark on both their personal and professional lives. While John Amos may be best remembered for his roles on screen, his influence behind the scenes, particularly in the lives of his children, is just as significant. He balanced the pressures of fame with his commitment to being a loving and involved father, a role that both Shannon and Casey have honored as they continue their respective careers in film and television. John Amos's ability to balance his professional career with his family responsibilities is a testament to his character. For Shannon and Casey, their father was not just a public figure admired by millions, but a personal guide and inspiration someone who embodied the values of hard work, integrity, and resilience both on and off the screen. As the world mourns the passing of a television icon, Shannon and Casey must now navigate their grief while continuing the work that has defined so much of their family's life. For many fans, John Amos will always be remembered as the tough but loving James Evans Sr. on Good Times, but for his children, his legacy is far more intimate and personal. He was not only America's dad, but their dad, a man who embodied family values, hard work, and resilience, leaving a lasting impact on their lives. The legacy that John Amos leaves behind is not just one of on-screen achievements, but one that lives on through his children who continue to uphold the same standards of excellence, integrity, and passion that he exemplified throughout his career. As they move forward, both Shannon and Casey are determined to honor their father's memory by carrying on his legacy in their work, ensuring that the Amos name remains synonymous with quality and heart in the entertainment industry. Amos's passing marks the end of an era, but his influence will continue to shape the world of entertainment for years to come. Fans will remember his many unforgettable performances and the joy he brought into their lives. But for Shannon and Casey, their father's spirit will live on in the lessons he imparted to them, both in life and in their work. 
Born in 1939, John Amos's journey to becoming a cultural icon began long before Good Times made him a household name. He married artist and equestrian Noel Mickelson in 1965, and though their marriage lasted just a decade, it was during this time that they welcomed their two children. The marriage may have ended in 1975, but the love they shared for their children remained a strong bond between them. Shannon Amos, their first child, was born in 1966. As a young woman, Shannon was surrounded by the world of show business, with her father's influence shaping her early interests in film and storytelling. She went on to have a successful career in the film and television industry, working behind the scenes to produce and write for major networks and projects. Her work reflected the same dedication to authenticity and heart that her father was known for. However, after more than two decades in the fast-paced entertainment industry, Shannon made a bold decision to step away and focus on her own well-being. In her late 50s, Shannon relocated to the peaceful and scenic town of Playa del Carmen, Mexico, where she now embraces a slower, more introspective way of life. In this tranquil setting, Shannon has found fulfillment in a life that prioritizes wellness, spirituality, and meaningful relationships far removed from the hustle of Hollywood. Casey, Shannon's younger brother, took a different path but remained firmly rooted in the entertainment world. Like his sister, he grew up in the shadow of their father's success, but never shied away from the challenge. Casey became a talented director and producer, building a career in the film industry that continues to this day. He often collaborated with his father on various projects, a partnership that not only honored John Amos's legacy, but also showcased Casey's growth as a filmmaker. Their shared passion for storytelling brought them closer together, and Casey credits his father for instilling in him the values of hard work, honesty, and integrity in filmmaking. John Amos's influence on his children is undeniable, as both Shannon and Casey have carried his teachings with them throughout their lives. As they continue to navigate their respective careers, they remain dedicated to honoring their father's legacy, both in their work and in their personal lives. In his final years, John Amos lived a life of quiet dignity, proud of his children and the paths they had chosen. His legacy is one that will live on through Shannon and KC as they continue to make their mark on the entertainment industry, inspired by the lessons and values their father instilled in them. Whether through Shannon's newfound focus on personal growth or Casey's ongoing work as a director and producer, the Amos family name will continue to be synonymous with excellence, authenticity, and heart for generations to come. As they mourn the loss of their father, Shannon and Casey are left not only with their grief, but also with a deep sense of pride and gratitude for the man who shaped their lives. They will carry his spirit with them, ensuring that his memory endures in their work and in their hearts, just as he lives on in the hearts of fans who will forever cherish his unforgettable performances on screen. Shannon Amos, the daughter of the beloved late actor John Amos, has expressed her deep shock and overwhelming grief after discovering through media reports that her father had passed away in August. In an emotional statement, Shannon opened up about the heart-wrenching experience of finding out about her father's death in such an impersonal and unexpected manner. She described the moment as being left speechless, highlighting the profound personal pain, not only from losing a parent, but from learning about such a significant event in such a public way. John Amos, who was best known for his iconic roles as James Evans Sr. in the hit television show, Good Times, and as Kunta Kinte in the miniseries Roots, passed away on August 21st in Los Angeles due to natural causes. Although his passing occurred in late August, the news was kept private for over a month before being officially announced to the public by his son, Kelly Christopher Amos, also known as KC Amos, on October 2nd. For Shannon, discovering the tragic news alongside the public was an added layer of devastation. Losing a loved one is always difficult, but to learn of it indirectly through the media can be particularly traumatic. In her response, 
Shannon conveyed her deep sadness and confusion, not only over her father's death, but also about how the news was delayed for so long before reaching her. As a daughter, this experience compounded her grief, making the situation even more painful to process. John Amos was a legendary figure whose career in television and film spanned decades. His work was not only entertaining, but also inspiring, touching the lives of people from all walks of life. As the news of his passing spread, tributes poured in from fans, colleagues, and admirers alike, honoring a man who contributed so much to the world of entertainment. However, for Shannon, the grief of losing her father in such an unexpected and indirect manner remained personal and raw. The public announcement had left both fans and the Amos family grappling with the heartbreaking loss, while Shannon and her loved ones were left searching for answers, trying to come to terms with the delayed revelation of his death. Shannon's statement also reflected the emotional toll of losing a parent in such a deeply personal yet public way. For many, John Amos was an iconic figure, but for her, he was a beloved father. She expressed the anguish that comes with learning about such a monumental loss through media channels. Losing a parent is one of life's most profound experiences, but learning about it in a way that feels so impersonal only deepened the sadness for Shannon and her family. The revelation that her father's death had occurred more than a month earlier and that she had learned about it alongside fans in the public underscored the overwhelming emotions that come with such a significant and devastating loss. Shannon took to Instagram to share her emotions, posting a deeply poignant and emotional message. Her post was raw, exposing the grief and confusion her family had been experiencing since they learned about John Amos's passing. Shannon revealed that it had been 45 days since her father passed, and yet the news had only just reached them. I am without words, she wrote, capturing the depth of her sorrow and disbelief. For Shannon, learning about her father's death in such a roundabout way was a painful blow. The family had been left with many questions about how this had happened and why it had taken so long for them to be informed. Her post resonated with many who could understand the pain of losing a loved one, but also the added agony of finding out in such a delayed and indirect manner. Shannon's words reflected the immense emotional strain of navigating grief while also grappling with the circumstances surrounding her father's death. The delay between his passing and the announcement had left her family reeling adding confusion to their already profound sense of loss. As the public continued to mourn the passing of John Amos, a legendary figure whose contributions to television and film left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry, Shannon and her family were left grappling with their personal grief. Shannon's Instagram post captured the raw emotion of a daughter mourning the loss of her father while also struggling to understand how the news of his passing had reached her so late. John Amos, whose work was celebrated by millions, was more than just an actor. He was a father, a figure of strength, and a man whose influence extended far beyond his on-screen roles. His iconic performances in Good Times and Roots had shaped the lives of countless individuals. As tributes from fans and colleagues continued to pour in, Shannon and her family were left to process their grief, navigating not only the emotional toll of losing a loved one, but also the shock of how they had learned about his death. The family's internal dynamics had become a matter of public attention in recent months, particularly with the rift between Shannon and her brother Kelly, which had been widely reported. Earlier in 2023, Shannon took to social media to accuse her brother of neglecting their father's health and well-being, claiming that John Amos had been a victim of elder abuse and financial exploitation. Her allegations sent shockwaves through the public, as the beloved actor had always been seen as a figure of strength and dignity. However, these claims were swiftly disputed by Kelly, as well as by John Amos himself, who publicly denied the accusations. He insisted that he had not been a victim of elder abuse or financial misconduct, complicating the narrative that had emerged. 
This family discord added another layer of complexity to the situation, as the strained relationship between Shannon and Kelly may have contributed to the delayed announcement of John Amos' death. Although an investigation into the elder abuse claims was launched, it ultimately concluded with no evidence to support Shannon's allegations. Despite the legal resolution, the tension between the siblings remained, casting a shadow over what should have been a time of care and reflection for the family as they tended to their father during his final months. The public feud between Shannon and Kelly only deepened the emotional toll on the family, making their grief all the more complicated.